in this example, we are going to find the POI point of intersection of two lines with two different techniques. The first technique that I'm going to use is just the simple graphing. The first line is y equal 2x minus 4. The other one is y equal 3x minus 5. In graphing technique, we are going to plot the two lines and we are going to detect where exactly is the point of intersection. So to plot the first line, I'm going to use the slope and the y-intercept. For this line, slope m is equal to 2, and the y-intercept is equal to negative 4. So I'm going to decide where exactly is negative 4. Negative 4 is right here. This is my first one. And then the slope is 2. We know that 2 can be written as 2 over 1. So this means the rise is 2 and the run is 1. So starting from negative 4, I'm going to go 2 units up. So 2 units up. And then I'm going to go 1 unit right. So I'm going to end up to this, at this point. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a line going through negative 4 and uh, the point 1 and negative 2. I've already drawn the line, which is a straight line going through the point negative 4, the y-intercept, and uh, also the point 1 and 2. Now we are going to do the same thing, but this time for line y equal 3x minus 5. For this line, I know that the slope is 3, and the y-intercept is negative 5. So again, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go on the graph, and I'm going to find the point negative 5, which is this point. Now, since the slope is 3, which is the same as 3 over 1, I'm going to go 3 units up, and then one unit to the right, which is going to end up at this point. Now again, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and draw a line going through these two points. I have already drawn the line going through these two points. Now I'm going to detect and investigate where exactly is the POI. You can see that the POI is going to be this point, which is going to be the point 1 and negative 2. Now, uh, you always remember that you are going to check to see if you are correct. So we are going to go back to the first equation, meaning this equation. The first equation, it says y is equal to 2x minus 4. So y for that point is 1. I want to know, is it equal to 2x, which is 2 times negative 2? No, that's a mistake. The y of that point is negative 2. So I'm going to say negative 2 is equal to 2 times x is 1, 2 times 1, minus 4 which is 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So it satisfies the first equation. The second one, y of that point is negative 2. We have to check to see if it's equal to 3 times x is 1 minus 5. And you can say that 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 5, negative 2. So everything is OK with this one, too. Now I'm going to try to solve the same problem using algebraic method. This is very simple. <clears throat> and the way you do it is the following. We know that y is equal to 2x minus 4 here. And we also know that y is equal to 3x minus 5 here. Since y is equal to two different quantities, 2x minus 4 and 3x minus 5, this means that 2x minus 4 has to be equal to 3x minus 5. Now, we already 
know how to solve simple linear equations like this one, I'm going to try to isolate x. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring 2x to the right and negative 5 to the left. When 2x moves, is moved to the right, it becomes a negative, so we get 3x minus 2x is equal to, when negative 5 comes to the left, it becomes positive, so you will have negative 4 plus 5. Now, 3x minus 2x is 1x, and negative 4 plus 5 is 1, so you get x equal to 1. Now, to find the y-coordinate of the POI, I'm going to pick any one of these two equations I have, meaning either y equal 2x minus 4 or y equal 3x minus 5. Let's pick the second equation. So y is equal to 3x minus 5. I know that the x of POI is 1, so I'm going to sub y, uh, x equal to 1 in this equation, and I'm going to get y is equal to 3 times 1 minus 5, which is 3 minus 5, so y is equal to 2, negative 2. So, from all this, I can get POI is 1 and negative 2. Exactly the same answer that we got by graphing. The only difference is that, first of all, it's much simpler than graphing, and also graphing, as you will learn in next year, grade 10, it's not precise. For this POI, 1 and negative 2, graphing is okay. You still, you can use it, but when the point of intersection is not a whole number, then detecting the coordinate of POI is going to be tough.